Hey everyone, Chad Easty here, host of the Chad Easty Show, which airs weekday mornings 8.30 to 11 a.m. Central Time on News Talk 95.1 FM and 790 AM KFYO. Well, some interesting times uh, around uh, Twitter these days. President Donald Trump going after not the Democrats and not the moderate Republicans who, uh, who helped block the uh, GOP health care bill that would have replaced Obamacare, but instead President Trump attacking the Conservative Freedom Caucus. That's right, President Trump starting this morning with a tweet saying, quote, the Freedom Caucus will hurt the entire Republican agenda if they don't get on the team and fast. We must fight them and the Dems in 2018. President Trump then uh, in the afternoon uh, tweeting out uh, these two things. If at uh, if uh, Representative Mark Meadows at Jim Jordan and at Ro Labrador uh, uh, would get on board, we would have both great health care and massive tax cuts and reform. Uh, and then he uh, sent out another tweet asking where those three congressmen are. So. President Trump going up against the Freedom Caucus. The Freedom Caucus, uh, overall not uh, saying too much, uh, back at, uh, at Donald Trump, though, uh, there, uh, were some, uh, uh, congressmen, uh, who, uh, did not appreciate what President Trump had to say. Uh, one of them, uh, let's see, uh, going through here, uh, this from Justin Amash. Quote, it didn't take long for the swamp to drain at real Donald Trump. No shame, Mr. President. Almost everyone succumbs to the D.C. establishment. Oh, boy. So uh looks like uh, Republicans are a little unhappy or conservatives are unhappy with President Trump. President Trump unhappy with conservatives and unhappy with the Freedom Caucus. Um, I'm going to go a little bit further in what I talked about uh, on the show Today and I uh, will go further tomorrow on the program. And here's this: uh, President Trump needs the Republicans to get on board uh, with some type of repeal. Now, as a conservative, um, I respect what the Freedom Caucus stands for. Uh, they want a full repeal of Obamacare, and they don't want government involved in the health insurance market. They don't want the government involved in health care. I respect that, and to be honest with you, um, I'm 100% on board with that. I would love to see that. However, I'm also a realist, um, and I understand that right now you're not going to get government completely out of health care. You're not going to get government completely out of health insurance for a couple of reasons. Number one, people are used to it now. Uh, if you wanted to get rid of Obamacare and truly repeal Obamacare, conservatives, Tea Partiers, everybody else, you should have bucked up and went out and voted for Mitt Romney over Barack Obama back in 2008, but you didn't do it. Um, uh, or I'm, uh, yeah, it, it, and so, uh, or in 2012, excuse me, uh, getting my presidential elections mixed up here, but yeah, uh, you should have voted for Mitt Romney in 2012 instead of Barack Obama. That didn't happen. Uh, so now that the tentacles are all out, uh, and the, uh, polling data shows that most people approve of uh, kids being able to stay on their parents' insurance until the age of 26 when they're not really kids anymore, and two, uh, they approve of pre-existing conditions, you're not going to get rid of those two provisions. It's not going to happen because they are way too popular, and you're dealing with politicians now. Remember, and this was said uh, back in the very beginning of Obamacare, once you get politics involved, Politics ruins things. Everything is now done by politics and polling. And you're not going to get rid of those two items. Uh, again, I understand where the Freedom Caucus comes from, uh, but they also have to remember this. We elected a president, and Republican voters who, uh, who went to the polls, they selected Donald Trump in the Republican primary. Donald Trump never wanted to get rid of government influence in health care. He wanted to take care of everybody. Trump's on record saying we're going to take care of everyone. We're going to come up with a plan that's good for everyone. We're going to make sure people are taken care of. That's government influence in the health insurance market and in health care. 
Uh, so the Freedom Caucus has to understand that. Uh, but President Trump also has to understand that the Freedom Caucus and conservatives have a very good foundation and a foundation that's based in principle, which is no more government intrusion. Uh, we are all for small government. Uh, the two sides have to talk. And, and this goes back to, uh, Paul Ryan and leadership when they came out and they did not roll this out exactly well. Uh, they should have negotiated behind closed doors, bring all the different factions together and roll out a not perfect but good enough health care bill. And then in the years to come, keep chipping away, keep chipping, chipping away and make government smaller. We need Obamacare taxes gone that will reduce uh, taxes on the American people. Uh, we need premiums to come down. That will make everybody happy. Uh, but it's going to take a long road, and it's going to take all the factions – getting together in a room and uh, negotiating and giving up a little bit. Trump's not going to get everything he wants. The Freedom Caucus, not going to get everything the Freedom Caucus wants. Everyone has to understand that, and they need to come up with a good bill. Republicans and the American people are looking for leadership, and we need to see that. Now is not the time, in my opinion, for President Trump to pick on conservatives. Many of these conservatives who, by the way, stood by President Trump during the primary and dinner, during the general election. They stood by President Trump, and now he's attacking them. Looks bad on his part. Uh, it also, uh, I think, uh, will make conservatives overall, conservative voters, a little more weary towards Donald Trump. But I do think that uh, among Trump voters, they're going to stick with them on this, and they're also going to blame the Freedom Caucus if it fails. Tune in to the Chad HD Show weekday mornings, 8.30 to 11 a.m. Central Time. News Talk 95.1 FM, 790 AM, KFYO. Have a great day.